you should be getting a good sense of the kinds of things that schedulers can do. What we're going to do today is talk about how scheduling has actually been done in Linux over the last decade, and it's changed quite a bit since 2002. And then we'll talk about scheduling web servers, which you are doing for problem set three. I was going to check on the leaderboard. A few times ago, I looked at it. Almost all the top ones were not from UVA students. So it looks like UVA submissions are doing pretty well. Wayland's reference solution is still on top. So hopefully, there will be a solution that will be better than that. Some are getting pretty close. And Apache is no longer number two. Apache's down to number three on this list. And that is the real Apache running. So why is it possible that it looks like at least one of your servers in Wayland's reference server are doing better than Apache when people have been working on Apache for 20 years or so and making it work well? Yeah. OK, so, so Apache certainly does spawn multiple tasks not the same way that you are, and it's, it can be run as either multi-threaded or single-threaded. It is spawning multiple threads that are separate listeners. So it's in some sense having a lot less control over scheduling than, than you do. What's the other reason that you're able to do better than Apache? OK, yeah, so certainly your server is not necessarily providing the full functionality, and you're able to make some shortcuts that Apache is not able to make, because everything people want to run on Apache has to work you only have to deal with serving simple static requests. So there's some overhead to that. That seems like it maybe could be streamlined out, but there's some cost to every request for all these features that need to be, be checked and turned off. The other reason maybe this benchmark is kind of unfair, the benchmark is, is testing all these requests. It is not necessarily representative of real web traffic. It's meant to be a reasonably good benchmark, but certainly there are lots of things that if you were running a real web service, you would want to test different benchmarks than, than just what we're testing here. But it does look possible, definitely, to do better than Apache on this benchmark. And I'm hoping that by tomorrow night, at least, there will be some doing better than the reference solution.